Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're talking about import maps and how they can help us develop without any build tools at all. Uh, import maps provide a lot of possibilities. Uh, so we're just going to look at the one here today which is uh, not requiring a build tool when using npm packages. Uh, first things, it's behind a flag at the moment. It's in most of the browsers I think, uh, but behind a flag in all of them. So certainly for Chrome here, if we want to enable this, we need to come into Chrome flags uh, and enable experimental web platform features. Where the flag is has changed actually recently. So if you're watching this in the future, you maybe just do a search in here for import um, flags. Um, but at the moment, it's under experimental web platforms, and it might even be unflagged at some point in the future as well. But anyway, back to back to topic. Once we've enabled that, um, we can then go in and have a look. So. Right, I've got. A, I've just got a folder here. I'm just going to create, open up Visual Studio Code, and uh, let's create a web page in here. Um, so we'll call that index.html, and we'll put some boilerplate code in there. So what I'm going to do is look to use an npm package in here, um, as we would today. Um, okay, so, and then see what import maps gives us uh, and what it allows us to do. So if we had a script here and it was a type module, like so, and then we wanted to do import, say, lit element like so now the first thing we're going to notice here is um, this is um, called a bare specifier so we haven't actually said where this um, this module lives all we said is lit element um, if I I need to I need to put it in here actually. So first of all, if we do a npm init, and then we npm install its element, and we'll see where that gets put. So if I come in here now, and we can see we've got our node modules folder, and in there we've got lit element, and in there we've got the module lit element js. So to use this we need to we need to use um node's resolution so it will it will if you were running this in node land you've got access to the file system and it will start looking for a node modules folder in this uh, folder and it will move up folders until it finds all of them and it will look then inside node modules for this folder and then once it finds that, it will come in here and it will go into package.json and it will look for main um, or module. And then, okay, so it's got lit element.js and then it will go and grab that there. And if it hasn't got a main, it would look for index.js. And, and then it would, so there's a whole load of checks that will be performed in order for us to find this package. Now that's fine when you're running on the server, when you're running in Node, and when you run with a bundler like Webpack or Rollup or Passel or any of the others, um, it does similar. It's got access to the file system. It goes off and finds this. Now in a web page, we can't do that because that's each one of those attempts to find it is a network call, and so you could have 10 calls there just to find the package and then you've got 10 packages and it, so yeah it just doesn't work it's too slow so that's why modules on the web require you to actually provide the path so you've got to have if you do this at the moment it will give an error saying we need to have a relative path we need to have dot uh, forward slash or dot dot forward slash or dot just forward slash so, i mean let's like we can probably show that if I open this up with live server and 
go in here it's literally going to say um, it can't find it oh, that's because that's because I've put the uh, path in so it actually tried to find that uh, if I refresh it now all right so this is the, the standard error we will see because um, it it it's not going to go and work out where it is <clears throat> you need to tell it where it is and so you need this um, this path specifier in here now okay we could do that we, we could we could put that in I could go okay node modules uh, lit element so I know it's in node modules lit element and then it's lit element .js. so we could put that in and if I come in here now, it's like, oh, okay, we well, yeah, I found that. But then that package also does um, node resolution to find its dependencies. So we would have to then, well, we literally can't do that in here. We can't, well, there's no way for us to specify um, the path for its dependencies. So even though I can specify the location to the first package, we can't specify any of the others. So this is where import maps can help us. Let's have a look. Um, if I do script and say type equals import map, and this takes some JSON, and we've got an import map, And in here, I can specify these um, these mappings. So I can say for lit element, it's going to be this guy here. And so that means I can go back to just having lit element specified here. Now I'm going to put these side by side just so we can see them a bit better. Okay, um, and that can go off for the moment. Right, so if I refresh here at the moment, oh, I've made a, I got a typo in my, my import map, have I? Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. I don't need ghost Rihanna. You just trust the site, thanks. Trust me. I'm fine. Okay, we're not good. All right, so um, I'll just make this a bit smaller so we can see it all. Right, now what we've got now is a bare specifier here. Um, but we've put it into our import map. So that gets us past the first error. Um, all right, it should. We should be getting the lit element error there now. This is failing because... Why is this failing? Is my this is enabled? So it should be say it should be complaining now, not about lit element, but about its dependencies. Um, import map. Is it import map essentially? No. Um, ah, it's just imports. Okay, so imports. 
Okay, so that gets us past that first error um, in that we wouldn't be, you know, if I didn't have this, this in here again, then it's gonna say, look, no, you can't do a bare specifier. You've gotta tell me where this is. Um, okay, so we'll tell you where it is via an import map. All right, so I know where lit element is, but lit element has dependencies and it's just giving me a package name for those. So you need to tell me where they are as well. All right, so we can do that. We can, now we've got an import map. You know, we've got more than this one location. I can actually specify, all right, um, for lit HTML. Uh, I won't get this, I'll, I'll show you the incorrect syntax first on this. Um, so we would then say, okay, this is in node modules. Uh, it's in lit HTML. And it's lit html.js. Just check that in here. There's a little element. Here's a little element. This is this is the dependency. Um, and there's a lit html.js there. Right, if I save that off, you'll notice we've still got the problem. Um, and that's because this dependency is actually being pulled in not only by the package name, but then also into this specific module. So we need to actually allow those imports. So there's kind of two imports that we need to cover with import maps. We need just the, the package name and then also a package name and then a subdirectory of it. Now to do that, there's a special syntax in import maps, whereby if we just put um, a trailing slash here, then this will allow us to pull in any of the um, subfolders. So it'll allow this part here, the lib shady render to be specified and it will just append that to our setting here. So we would do the same here. We would just leave it there. And if I save that off now, then that is um, not throwing us any errors. So I could create the class here and create the class now, my element. And we can do a render. And we can do something like that. And then just um, define that custom element. And then if we put that on the page as well, so now I can use my element. Get rid of that there. Um, okay, so we start to use another um, class here, HTML, so I can pull that in and save that off. Um, and now that is working in the browser. So we're using an NPM package here, which you would you would no, normally have to have a big build tool for, um, either Webpack or Parcel, or you can use something like Snowpack, which, um, which is kind of in between the two, or literally just using import maps. Now, you know, this is, this is tedious, so I don't, I'm not sure where this will go. Will there be, will these be provided by the package authors, um, or will there be a tool that you can run to generate these? You don't want to, you don't want to have to be able to, don't want to have to handcraft this. But if you can just pull one in, um, then you can just start using um, this straight into um, a web page. So pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, it's all behind a flag at the moment, but it looks as though it will be coming. Um, and there's a lot of possibilities with. Uh, import maps there you know it'll it'll bridge that that gap where at the moment we can't do um, development in the same way as you could when you're creating a node app
Um, Alright, there you go. Import maps. Hope that was interesting. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below and change the alert icon to all for future video updates. And catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.